Hello friends, this is Dr. Nikita here, your educator, mentor and friend. And here's a quick mnemonic to learn the INICT May 23 PYQ from Biochemistry. And the question is, Xanthurinic aciduria is seen in deficiency of which vitamin? So the easy trick to remember here is, remember Xanthurinic is X and it is seen in deficiency of vitamin B6. So that's an easy one there. Just remember it with the mnemonic that is B6. What vitamin is vitamin B6? Basically, that's your pyridoxal phosphate, pyridoxin. Remember, pyridoxin again has X in its spelling, so it is B6. What are the other important points for B6 that you should know? This vitamin deficiency is what you see with INH. A patient on isoniazid will have B6 deficiency. So, we need to supplement B6 there. It is very, very important for GABA synthesis, which is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. And therefore, it is used in the treatment of neonatal seizures. Another important point that has been asked in AIMS exam. Right. So, in seizures, we want to have more of inhibitory neurotransmitter. So, more of GABA. So, we will give B6 there. Another point for B6. So remember, this is if you are asked one vitamin, which is deficient in homocysteine urea. So, remember it as homo. 16 urea is your vitamin b6 deficiency the enzyme which is deficient here is cystathionine synthase that is cystathionine synthase right so cystathionine cystathionine synthase homo 16 urea is your vitamin b6 deficiency is what you need to know here this is the vitamin which is responsible for transamination right conversion of your uh, let's say pyruvate to alanine this is because of vitamin b6 alanine amino acid producing your keto acid pyruvate right so remember alanine to pyruvate then your aspartic acid to oxaloacetate this is your transamination reaction which is uh, b6 dependent okay which is b6 dependent so remember all these important points for b6 and 6 is zenth uric acid urea because remember that this is related to the tryptophan metabolism where kine urine 9 is produced. If there is B6 deficiency, then this kine urine 9 is basically forming your zenth urinic acid. So that is zenth urinic acid urea. So this is regarding the today's PYQ mnemonic. I hope you found it useful. If yes, please do share it with your friends as well who you think will benefit out of this. And yes, do not forget to like the video. I'll keep coming up with more such quick, short, crisp videos with mnemonics and concepts to help you remember the PYQs and the related PYTs. Thank you so much.